I will share my blessing that uh, I will be blessed to visit Greece, the place where Apostle Paul has served the Lord and brought so many uh, Gentile people to the Lord, those who are not knowing God and those places where he stood, God gave me opportunity to go stand up there and uh, even share the word of God also and spoken and uh, have got this opportunity. I was feeling like goosebumps everywhere I was going that, oh Jesus, you made this possible for me. So when I came back from there, I was feeling like that, filled with the Holy Spirit. I mean, refilled with, I will say, and uh, strengthened and empowered. And the next day when the preaching went, that was also went so good. The people, they came and they said, oh, we love the way you spoken and the words was penetrating inside the body and the heart and soul. Everyone came like that. And then God started speaking with the people with the word of knowledge and have some of them for their illnesses and for some jobs, prayers which I have offered. But the greatest thing happened when I, uh, I was there, I have received a phone call from, uh, you remember Sarah, Egyptian girl was here. Her mother was uh, also in a uh, uh, whole family, they were in, uh, in uh, Egypt, uh, the, sorry, Greece, in uh, Athens. So said, they said, you have to come and stay two days with us. So I went there, and next day, her father took me to one of his friend's house, who was paralyzed with a stroke for four years in the bed. And this is, I do not know what they have told them, but when I reached there, I found the hand and the leg, it was like a dead body, you know. No any power in that. Very cold, very cold, and it was, I mean, unable to handle it. It's just like a as you touch the dead body, it's like that. So, I say, Lord, I have never prayed for uh, any patients with uh, uh, this uh, paralyzed patient, and it's not me, it's you who can do everything. So, I put my hand under his uh, eye, pulled his arm up, and I put my hand under his hand. And I started praying, I say, Lord Jesus, uh, uh, if, if you are here today, and you have brought me here, show me your miracle, show me your mercy, show this uh, patient to me. And immediately God put in my heart to tell him, he has to repent. And I said, Lord, maybe you will get offended, you know. If I'm asking directly someone to repent first, then I will pray like that. So, God has shown me like a, like a vision that uh, two verses and two stories from the Bible. And the first one was when the two, uh, four friends opened the roof and they have put the paralyzed patient down. The first thing Jesus' voice came up and said, your sins are forgiven. So, Lord put it in my heart, forgiveness of sin is First necessary, then the paralyzed will be healed. <coughs> and then the second story came into my mind was the person who was at the pool, Bethsaida, for 38 years. And after his healing, again Jesus told him, do not sin again. So these two things came. I said, okay, Lord, in obedience, I'm going to tell him. So I told him, I said, Brother, I do not know about you and I never met you before. But one thing I know that God is putting in my heart, you need repentance, you never did it before. And he started tears in his eyes and he says, yes, I was a very bad person. A lot of things which I have done, it is not normal which I have done. So you pray for me. I said, no, you have to confess to the Lord and say, Lord, I am sorry for all these things. Forgive me. 
as he was praying and confessing and asking Lord for forgiveness, his head started getting warm. And when he started getting warm, I started praising, hallelujah, and like that. And I was praising and praising and also praying to the Lord. And then, after asking uh, the Lord Father, if it is your will, let his fingers start moving. And then, very uh, like that, it is just, this has shown the, 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 the Lord has shown me his fingers started moving like that. And all glory go to the Lord. Once this was happening, I, I requested Lord, Lord, I want the blood which you have shed on the cross from your stripes and I want to apply it on his arm. So I started doing like that as I, as I was doing. He started squeezing my hand. So all glory go to the Lord, he started squeezing my hand. And I started saying, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, I raised my voice loudly. And then I said, Okay, brother, God has shown, show, shown you the sign of healing. Now, as you are squeezing my hand, pull my hand up. So I started pulling my hand up like that. One, two, three. And gradually, his hand went over like that. So, all glory go to the Lord. This was a really, really uh, uh, confirmation of the refilling of Holy Spirit when I came back from the Corinth. You know, so I will request you people also, whenever it is possible, you all are going on holidays, try to go where the work of the Lord is done. Holy Spirit is still there. The power of the Lord is still there. And when you will go there, you will be filled. Because these places were According to the book of Acts, book of Acts uh, chapter 22, one place was, and book of, book of 17 uh, uh, and uh, 18 verses, all these things like those things uh, <coughs> happened, God has shown, and I have read also from the Bible, and I have seen the places, and I was feeling like, really, my goosebumps are coming up, and I was feeling, oh, on a place, I was feeling like, in the time of Apostle Paul there. So, I just want to encourage everyone. It's not me who can heal. It's the Lord Jesus Christ healed him. And he, he has done his great thing. His blessings come through when we make ourselves available. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, because I was a bit tired last month. I, I came from, a, from a Germany. And then, Brother... Uh, uh, Thomas' uh, son uh, and uh, marriage, oh, sorry, not marriage, uh, engagement ceremony was there. That becomes busy, and then immediately I have to go to, to, to Greece again, which was and the place where I preached. It was on seventh floor, and it was very clear from where I could see the place where Apostle Paul was preaching and teaching the place. Those were very clear for us. And I was feeling like God. I am like soaring like an eagle. As we were singing here just now. So it is true. It is very true. When you feel down, God never let you fall down. He will come up like an eagle and take you on his wings. You feel to fly again. So all glory go to the Lord. Let's